Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunny Savita. I am back with another exciting and super important video. Now, why I am saying it's a super important video? Because in this video, I am going to discuss one quick roadmap for the generative AI, as well as I will give you the extensive resources for the generative AI interview. So, guys, uh, this is my YouTube channel uh, where I am uploading a video related to the generative AI, and soon I will upload the video related to the deep learning, machine learning, Python, and everything. So, guys, this could be one stop solution for all of you. If you are eager to learn this AI or generative AI, so guys, inside the video section, guys, you'll find out all the video, whatever video I have updated so far. Now, apart from this one, guys, if you will go uh, in my live section, so two months back I released one video. I uh, took one live actually. There I discussed top hundred generative AI interview question. So this is all the interview question, guys. Uh, a question with respect to each and every category of the generative AI, like uh, artificial neural network, means the fundamental of the gen fundamental of the deep learning and the generative AI. Then the natural language process processing, it also comes inside the fundamental. Then the question related to the transformer architecture, the question related to the LLM, large language modeling. The question was related to the fine tuning rack, vector databases, LLM op systems, line each and everything. So there, uh, I, I discuss around one fifty interview question. Even even though I discuss, but I didn't give you the answers of this entire questions. Now in this video, guys, I'll provide you all the answers of this particular question because inside this video, guys, I publish one challenge. Whoever going to complete this particular questions, so like the person will get an amazing prize from my end. That prize I will reveal soon in my one of the video because I invited that particular guy who has prepared this interview questions so definitely i will show you all the answers with respect to this 150 interview question but before that let me discuss the quick roadmap for the generative ai so guys here uh, on top of uh, this screen you can see this is a quick roadmap for the generative ai i divided into the multiple categories uh, even though i uh, published one video on my youtube channel with respect to the generative ai roadmap so here you can see this uh, roadmap is having more than 40000 views somewhere around 41000 uh, views right so this is a very amazing video if you want to understand about the generative ai roadmap but here is a quick recap of the generative ai or the agentic ai right how uh, basically you can learn the generative AI, what are the topics you need to cover and how you can reach out to the agentic AI, which is a very hot topic nowadays. So uh, guys, here, if you will look, so the first thing is what? The first thing is the deep learning fundamental. So inside the deep learning fundamental, you always need to focus where? So you always need to focus uh, inside the ANN uh, and CNN, then RNN, LSTM, GRU. It's a variant of the... Uh, it's a variant of the uh, this RNN model itself. Then encoding and embedding. It's a very important, super important topic. Then GAN auto encoder and then basics of the reinforcement learning. So this entire thing actually comes under deep learning fundamental. Got it? Then guys, after learning this deep learning fundamental, you can switch to the sequence to sequence learning, right? Again, which is a part of the deep learning itself and which we, which usually uh, which we usually learn inside this NLP, okay, inside this RNN. So, guys, uh, here inside the sequence to sequence learning, you need to learn about the sequence type of the sequence to sequence learning, then this angular decoder, angular decoder with attention, and then universal language model fine tuning. So, this is a ULM fit model, which is a super important model, and definitely you should go through once with this particular model, this particular topic, if you want to understand about the sequence to sequence learning, okay. Then, guys, are the main and the very important topic, and the super important topic comes into the picture that is transformer, transformer and its implementation or its architecture. So, first things, transformer architecture. You need to decode the entire architecture. Then, here is a board GPT, right? You need to understand about the mass language model, generative pretending model, right? How are the language model is working in a real time? How they have created that? Then, llama architecture, mistral architecture. Why I have included these two architectures so that you can understand understand the state of art modeling and then vision transformer that how we can include the vision okay vision to the transformer model that is super important guys okay because nowadays most of the model actually will find out those are the multi-model and this architecture will give you the comprehensive idea that how this multi-modality working got it then guys there is a fine tuning so instead of fine tuning you need to understand about the transfer learning then fine tuning then fine tuning of the language modeling like board 
or T5, then fine tuning of the large language model like GPT, Mistral, okay, and the Llama model. Uh, and then here we have supervised fine tuning, RLHF, and DPO, right? Uh, the preference optimization technique like DPO, PPO, KTS, and all. So these are super important topic inside the fine tuning. Then instruction fine tuning for the GPT kind of model where directly we cannot access a model but uh, still we can fine tune using some technique this technique actually is called the instruction fine tuning where we just need to define an instruction inside the json file and we can directly provide to the model and some kind of a mechanism coded by the developer itself so model will be directly fine tuned then here is a model quantization this is also very amazing technique which we should which you should learn along with the fine tuning okay then guys the very important and the super important topic rag which is uh like the most important now here uh inside the dog uh, inside the rag actually you need to understand about the document passing right how you can pass the document how you can uh like uh, pass the different different website how you can fetch a data from the different different database so uh if i'm saying document passing so simply i'm uh like talking about like how uh, you can gather the data how you can create your ingestion pipeline that's my uh, that's my like um, mean over here right then here are the embedding techniques again i'm saying embedding is a super important thing for the rag for the retrieval argument generation then you need to understand about the vector databases okay then retrieval strategy different different retrieval strategy or the mathematics and all behind those retrieval strategy and then prompting is also very much important thing guys you need to be understand about the prompting even though it's an underrated topic but guys you should not uh, like miss this prompting right the zero shot prompting few short prompting chain of thoughts these are the super important thing if you want to build a robust application using this uh using the uh like rag okay then multi-model rag multi-modality how you can uh use the different different llm model the multi-model how you can store the different different type of data okay multi-model data like images audio stacks right how you can create an embedding out of it so guys this is a super important thing because most of the application you will find out this multi model rag only then guys here comes our champ right that is agentic ai guys this agentic ai actually it's a super hot topic nowadays why it is a super hot topic because here we are using the uttermost capability of the llm means using the llm actually we are going to create a kind of pattern we are keeping our llm in some kind of loop where llm can take a decision by themselves means llm can think llm can observe llm can generate a right kind of answer llm can interpret right so every kind of thing we can do inside the agents inside the agentic pattern right if my llm is not able to answer in that case also we can fetch the answer from anywhere from variety of the sources right and those answers we will make sure that those answers should be a reliable answer not only the agents we can implement this agents along with the rag architecture that's the beauty of the agentic ai and that's why this is a very uh, hot topic nowadays so here guys you need to learn about the agentic pattern uh langchain and llama index agents uh lang graph agents two ai agents autogen agents okay fee data multi agents and then no code no code agent built in tools like lang flow where much coding is not required so first of all guys understand the different different agentic pattern like react self rag self ask and then tool calling agent and all and then try to implement it using these particular framework where you'll find out some uh some like a uh, different different uh, custom classes also inside these particular framework so try to evaluate each and every framework and then try to create a multi-agentic system so if someone uh see i got a uh, lot lots of query nowadays sir uh should i learn the agentic ai yes definitely you should learn the agentic ai but guys this is the complete way to reach out to the agentic ai see this one the fundamental then here the sequence to sequence learning which you cannot miss out then transformer right and then uh, basically from here this uh uh like fine tuning comes then uh, guys this rack comes okay which is a super duper important thing and then here is our agentic ai so now guys you understood where this agentic ai lies okay where you can keep this agentic ai understood then guys once you will be good with your agentic ai and all 
then where you can move so you can move to the llm ops where you should have basic understanding of the cloud where you should uh, like having a understanding of the different different cloud ai services uh, in those services aws bedrock azure ai studio google vertex ai this plays a very important role and then you should be familiar with the llm deployment how you can deploy llm application with api or uh, like how if you are going to keep your llm over the infrastructure how you can deploy that and then complete ci cd pipeline the complete ops pipeline okay so this should be a part of the llm ops and definitely after learning all this thing all the fundamental rag and agents you need to focus on the llm ops and then guys miscellaneous topic means you cannot miss python you cannot miss databases like sql and no sql databases you cannot miss the exposure of the different different apis like open ai api hugging face api cloud api you cannot miss the different different other uh like packages framework module like olama lm studio and all so these are the complete comprehensive or i would not i would not say it's a very comprehensive but yeah this is like complete generative ai roadmap which you should follow if you want a complete and detailed roadmap more than this one along with each and every topic and the resources you can mention inside the chat section sir yes we want it or else what you can do guys you can connect with me one to one here you can see i mentioned the link on my youtube channel this one inside the description of my youtube channel i mentioned the link in my uh here you can see i mentioned the link inside my linkedin as well okay just go and check with this my youtube channel you will get all these three links my youtube github and one to one meeting as well so connect with me directly take a advantage try to take a material try to have a quick chat whatever in your mind right please uh, like ask to me i'll be clarify each and every doubt to all of you with respect to the generative ai right these are the different different services with the minimum cost and this cost is just to like make a sincerity that's it nothing else and so far i got some booking and guys you can see like how much benefit these person got and they really are able to crack their interview understood guys i hope so this thing is clear now after discussing this roadmap see let me highlight about after this agent ki you should you should come to this llm ops and then uh, guys these are the miscellaneous topic which is uh, the important uh, the like a uh, very important topic okay this uh like a uh, miscellaneous topic and uh like you should not miss this miscellaneous topic okay uh, i hope so this uh, thing is clear now coming to the next part for which you are waiting so guys uh, here is all the interview questions okay along with the solution let me zoom in and let me show you so the guy name is arbaj khan he prepared uh, this a uh, kush uh, he prepared the answer of this uh, interview question which i provided in my live section okay this one and see how beautifully each and every question uh, each and every answer has been written even i also make some edits inside this pdf and guys see just just look into the answer what are the activation function tell me type see these are the basic uh ann okay and along with each and every image along with each and every uh, like mathematical formula right and how to choose the right activation then the question number three along with all the mathematical equation and all everything guys i made a changes personally inside this pdf and uh, the question and the um, like rest of the answer initially prepared by this uh, this is student okay he was my student and soon i will be publishing one podcast with this student and i will uh like uh take his uh, feedback also i will ask like how he, he has prepared like such extensive extensive question more than 150 question with such beautiful uh like uh the such uh like such such beautification right the uh, uh basically formulas and the images and all everything he kept inside this pdf so yeah this is very amazing guys and yeah i will i am going to provide you all this uh interview question so that you can take a leverage of it see here okay pdf idf is also there and how beautifully each and every answer has been each and every question has been answered and how many pages we i have see guys if you will look into the pages now 187 pages total 187 pages and uh see what the role of the multi-model in the latest llm the complete answer okay the complete answer now here you can see so uh, let's look at the next question how does hugging face transform library facilitate see hugging face transformer 
सो गाइज नो नीड टू लर्न फ्रॉम एनी वे राइट वन चैलेंज आई विल गिव टू ऑल ऑफ यू वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू जस्ट हैव टू प्रिपेयर दिस वन एटी इंटरव्यू वन एटी पेजेस मीन्स दिस वन फिफ्टी प्लस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट्स इट ओके बिकॉज आई शेयर टू मेनी पीपल एंड soon i will bring those people on my youtube channel and i will share the feedback right and i will share the feedback in front of you that how basically after after learning see for i am not coming directly here okay first i checked whether this uh, pdf is working or not means to who am who to whoever like i shared this uh, particular pdf those amazing was the experience was very very amazing of those particular people they were saying sir 99% question in the interview they have asked from this pdf only okay so guys i will share this particular pdf to all of you and try to read it out try to just just like um, what we say in hindi right just atta mar right this entire pdf okay and soon i will be creating a separate separate video i will be explaining you those concept and uh, if you want anything more you can let me know inside the comment section uh, and uh, definitely i will help you out so uh, let's uh, look into one of the section here let's say here the question is how multi model generative model address the issue of the sparsity in the data so uh, it's a pre training of the uni model data cross model transferring cross model is a very much important concept the multi model guys okay cross model means it's a cross attention which we used to learn inside the transformer data augmentation weak supervision and noisy labeling self supervised learning multi model fusion tech technique each and every technique has been mentioned over here now let's say if you want to understand about how do multi how do model like clip and delhi demonstrate the integration of vision to language modeling with a complete uh, demonstration means the complete explanation of it right so this question actually it can give you the guide it can uh, like give you the quick start and then in on top of it if you want to add on something definitely you can do that so i hope guys this video is very much useful to all of you definitely i'll be sharing all this question answer this fundamental llm and all everything guys uh, you can find it out inside the description of this video and if you have any doubt please ask me inside the comment section and soon i'll be coming up with the video where i will show you the tips tips and trick how you can prepare your resume okay the effective resume for the generative ai role so yeah this is it for this particular video guys uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel because i'll be coming up with this type of video and uh, soon i'll be uploading my next video also with respect to the multi ai agent so yeah thank you bye bye take care guys i'll i'll see you in the next video until thank you